we come to that famous serpent. The serpent, it says, was cleverer or more sly or more sneaky, wiser than all the animals of the earth which Lord God had made. And it's interesting here again. All animals are the same. How come the serpent is a little cleverer than the others? Well, you want to make a story? You make a story. And so he said to the woman, even though God told you that you should not eat of all the trees in the garden, it's a leading question or just a lead-in. So the woman says, oh, we may eat of all the trees of the garden, but from the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God told us don't eat of it and don't touch it. She added something there, which shows you already a little bit <laughs> different. That's the human, human nature. Because otherwise we will die. And the serpent said to the woman, you will not die. God knows that on the day that you eat of it, your eyes will be opened up and you will become like God. Very true statement. You will become like God. It doesn't say you will become God. That he knew would not be. You will become like God. How? Knowing good and evil, you will have intelligence and be able to distinguish between good and evil. That's what he said to her. So the woman saw that the tree was good to eat, the fruit was good to eat, and it was delightful or desirable to the eyes and pleasant to bring intelligence or to make one intelligent. And so she took of its fruit and she ate it. And she also gave it to her husband who was standing nearby and he also ate it. And their eyes were opened up, and they knew something that they never knew before. They were naked. Suddenly, this intelligence conveys upon them a human quality. They're ashamed. They're naked. And so they went and they sewed together the leaves of a fig tree, and they made themselves skirts to cover their nakedness. Now they are intelligent human beings and they're beginning to have their troubles. And then they heard the sound of Lord God walking in the garden during the breeze of the day. And the man and his woman and his wife hid among the leaves of the, among the trees of the garden, hid from God. So God called the man and said to him, where are you? <laughs> Good question. And he said, I heard the sound of you. I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I am naked, and I hid. And God said to him, who told you you were naked? Ah, <laughs> uh, you must have eaten. Did you eat from the tree that I told you not to eat of it? And what do you think the man said? She did it. She made me do it. Perfect. Absolutely right. Absolutely perfect. And he said, this woman that you gave me, notice this, thank you, God, this woman that you gave me, she gave it to me, and I ate it. And God said to the woman, why did you do this? And she said, the serpent talked me into it. <laughs> so God said to the serpent, because you did this, you are to be cursed more than any other animal of all the living things on the, in the field. From now on, you will walk on your belly, or you will crawl on your belly, and you will eat of the dust all the days of your life. And I will place enmity between you and the woman, and between your descendants and her descendants, he will strike you at the head, and you will strike at his heel. 